Alright mates, we're here with another review video today, and today we're going to be reviewing this uh, Frank's Red Hot Original uh, Cayenne Pepper Sauce, also known as uh, Sao Sao Piment de Cayenne. Yeah, I'm cultured, that's right bitches. Alright, um, so today we're going to talk about this hot sauce, uh, and first we're going to talk about the craftsmanship, um, I mean, I don't know though mate, are we reviewing the bottle or the sauce? Why not both? Why not both? All right, well, uh, craftsmanship of the bottle, uh, it's pretty nice here. You can see it's got a nice little logo here, Frank's, uh, 1920. It's got a nice, I don't know, I think these are supposed to be peppers up here. You can see there's a nice little design in there. Um, the bottle itself, I mean, it's pretty nice. I, I, I'm going to give this, uh, I don't know, mate. I, I don't really know if I want to give it a 10 out of 10, but I'll let's inspect the cap first. Ah, uh, see here, you get a little bit of of gunk up in here. So I think that definitely takes away, detracts from the craftsmanship. Uh, so because the cap isn't as nice as it could be, you get some kind of grody residue here. I'm gonna give it eight out of 10 for craftsmanship. Uh, now we're gonna talk about functionality. Um, the hot sauce itself, I'm gonna give it a pretty high review, high score on this review. Um, I mean, you could literally put it on pretty much anything. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, it says we can put it on pizza, pastas, hamburgers, all sorts of crap there. If you want to zoom in, you can see all the shit you can put it on. And, uh, because of that, I'm going to have to give this a, uh, 10 out of 10 for, uh, functionality. Excuse my dip spit. All right, and now we're going to talk about style. Um, you can't wear this. I mean, I guess you could just... It looks like something you shove up your ass. <laughs> I don't think that's it, Chief. I don't think that's it. But, uh, I mean, I guess you could put some, uh, put some of this on you and maybe rub it in on your, in your face a little bit. It's like some, I don't know, some blush or whatever, whatever the ladies are into. Um, so, for style, um, I mean, outside of its potential for makeup use, I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 10. Um, and, uh, and now we're gonna talk about durability. Uh, the bottle itself... Again, we're reviewing another glass product, and uh, I would like nothing better than just yeet it at those bricks over there. See what happens. You want to, yeah, just give it a nice little test. But um, I don't think that's probably the best idea to yeet this at the wall. I mean, apparently glass breaks when you yeet it. Um, so for the bottle itself, I'm going to give it a freaking zero out of ten. But uh, for the hot sauce, I mean... This bad boy lasts a while. I mean, I've seen our, our dining hall freaking hang on to this shit for, for over a year. I mean, I, I mean, shit, this has been in the bottle since 1920. Wow. 10 out of 10 for durability. All right, and uh, you ready to hit the wild card? So for the wild card, uh, full sauce as a dip spitter, it's, it's absolutely useless. Uh... The, the opening's wide enough. Not great, right? But if it was out of sauce, you need a dip spitter. It, it does well in a pinch. So we're going to have to give this uh, a 20 out of 40. All right, mate. And that's pretty, it. Pretty average, I think. Yeah, pretty freaking average. And uh, that's it for the review.